So I'll let you guys in on a little, uh, little life hack here that you may or may not know about. Um, if you hunt in the States, you probably know this. If you've spent any time in the armed forces, you'll know this. Uh, number one thing to avoid getting ticks on you, getting tick bites, anything like that, uh, is something called permethrin. Um, now, permethrin you can't get in Canada for individual use, whatever you want to call it, personal use. Um, so you got to kind of work around it and try and find stuff that works. Nothing's fantastic, but do what you can because A, they're gross, and B, the risk of Lyme disease is just something you don't want to mess around with. So the areas that I hunt are, they're fairly prevalent um especially the last couple of years i found every deer i've harvested has been just covered in them so one of the things i got to be careful of when i'm out there is making sure that i don't pick any of these things up and bring them home um so i'm gonna let you guys in on a little trick that works here um you can i mean nothing's 100 percent guaranteed but this is what i do this is what works for me so take it as you will um but i use a product called ultra shield um i've got horses here this is how i have it how i came to find it um but you can pick it up at any horse tack store or uh feed store will carry them to uh you probably won't find them anywhere else um but if you look at the ingredients here i don't know if you can read them or not but second one down there you will see that permethrin is on there um so lower dose for sure than straight permethrin. Normally you would douse your clothes in permethrin and then wash it and it'll be good for about a half a dozen washes before it starts to wear off. Uh, this stuff here, what I do is I spray my clothes with it. Um, I'll douse my clothes tonight. I'm not leaving until Wednesday. So I'll douse my clothes in it tonight. Um, I'll let it dry overnight, let it soak in. It does have a bit of a smell to it, so you can't really spray it and go. Um, but what I'll do then is I will wash my clothes afterwards in scent-free detergent uh, just to kind of take that edge off of it. it um, it's not as good as regular permethrin, so this stuff is good for two to three washes, I'd say. But uh, it won't lose its effectiveness, uh, so it's great. So all I do, I'll spin you guys around here. So you see I've got my jacket hanging here. And all I'll do is I'll just liberally don't um, don't worry about soaking your clothes. It um, you can end up washing it again anyways. So uh, don't worry about. Uh, you know, putting too much of it on. There's no such thing in this stuff. And then what I'm going to carry with me out in the field and I'll put on just before I go is, um, let's see this stuff here. You can pick it up at Canadian Tire, uh, online, Home Depot, most places will carry it. Uh, it is DEET free, which I mean, doesn't really matter to me, but some people appreciate that. Um, but it has no odor and it's good for ticks, which is the big thing. So what I'll normally do is after everything's been soaked, I'm gonna reapply this stuff onto my socks, my cuffs, like anything that has a seam on it. Uh, and then my boots, just because I'm not gonna be able to wash my boots and wash the permethrin off and wash that smell off. So that'll be what I put on after the fact. And again, I mean, nothing's 100%, take it as you will. But this is what I've been doing. This is what's worked for the last four years now. Um, knock on wood, I have not brought any home yet. Um, so fingers crossed it's, uh, it's going to stay that way this year, but, uh, that's kind of my prep work. So if that's one of your concerns, if that's something that you maybe haven't even thought of yet, um, the tick populations have been blowing up the last couple of years. So it's something that you want to keep in mind, something that you don't want to mess around with. And, uh, it's definitely, this is a an easy and fairly cheap fix to at least mitigate the risk of you ending up picking any of these things up and picking up any diseases that they carry. But uh, yeah, that's your PSA. Um, 
Like I said, I'm getting my gear ready now. I gotta work a couple days and then I'm gonna head out uh, first thing Wednesday morning for some blacktails. So I will have a few more videos coming up, uh, probably one or two before that, and then I'll uh, I'll have the actual hunt video up for you. So good luck, stay safe out there, and uh, hopefully this helps.